the Gemara Nivamot, and that from Mem Gimel Amabet, describes two forms of mourning. An Avelut Chadasha, a mourning that we're familiar with, unfortunately, the mourning of when someone passes away, and a mourner begins the process of Shiva, and then Shloshim, and for a parent, the process of a year-long period of mourning. And an Avelut Yishana, and an Avelut, a mourning that is observed for something that is more distant, that doesn't have that same process. In Avelut, that for example, in this period of time, the mourning that we try to understand and experience over the destruction of the Beit HaMikdash more than 2,000 years ago. The Rav, Rav Salavechik Zetzal, explained that when it comes to the idea of an Avelut Yishana, it is the kind of emotional experience that's unnatural. It is not as the Rambam described new mourning to be min shel olam, to be that which is part of life itself, but rather the avelut yishana is something that is beyond normal life existence, normal life experience. And as a result, the Rav explained that these three weeks are designed to slowly bring us back to that experience, to slowly have us understand what is happening around us. We have the three weeks that then build to the nine days, that then builds to the day of Tisha B'Av itself. Tisha B'Av being so very similar to the person sitting Shiva. And the idea is that throughout these three weeks, we have to allow the experience of that morning, of that Avelut Yishana, to permeate our souls. We have to understand that while there may be ways that we can overcome some of the distance, some of the difficulties of the three weeks. If we do so, we'll never achieve that ultimate goal of truly mourning for the Beit HaMikdash. It's for this reason that some poskim even suggest that during the nine days where there is a common practice to make a seal in order to be able to eat meat, that it's not really the ideal because we need to feel that sense of the shloshim type of experience of the nine days to lead into, ultimately, the shiva type of experience of the Beit HaMikdash. And so as we enter into the three weeks, the question we have to ask ourselves is, are we going to allow ourselves to feel the Avelut, to build one day upon the next? Are we going to be able to allow ourselves to prepare our nishamot, our souls, for understanding what we lost when the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed. Because as we know from elsewhere in the Gemara, only the person who understands the mourning of the Beit HaMikdash can ultimately understand the joy of the Beit HaMikdash. It's only when we understand what we lost can we really begin to yearn and anticipate the time of Mashiach when we will have that Beit HaMikdash once again. And so the three weeks are not just a time of sadness, but the three weeks are also a time that prepare us for the ultimate of gladness itself. Mm -hmm.